Welcome to Automation Desk. Please like and subscribe for get more informative videos related to inverter and PLC programming. In today's lesson, we will learn how to write Siemens PLC S7 1200 program for motor control with switches. We have three switches and three motors. If switch one is on, then motor one, motor two, and motor three will be on. If switch two is on, then the motor one and motor two will be on, and motor three will be off. If switch three is on, then all three motors will be off. Let's see the real-time application in TIA portal. First step is device configuration. After device configuration, click on PLC tags. And here click on default tag table. Default tag table has been opened. And here we will write first tag name, switch one. Drag down, switch two, switch two and switch three listed. After that, here we will write output tags. Motor 1, click on bottom right corner and drag down. Next three tags listed. And these are the addresses. First address is I0.0, I0.1, I0.2. Because these are the input switches. That's why I0.0, I0.1 and I0.2 are used here. For output, we always select Q. And the bit number is 0. Q0.0 and the next output is Q0.1 and third one and the last output is Q0.2 input and output tags has been defined now we will go to the program section this is the logic and here we will assign the tags first of all double click on this and here we will assign first switch here we will assign the second switch now i am going to explain the logic first of all when switch will one will be on all three motors motor one motor two and motor three will remain on because other two switches have a normally closed point in the logic in second step, when switch 2 will be energized, this normally closed point will convert into normally open and motor 3 will stop and all other motors, motor 1 and motor 2 will remain on. In the case of switch 3, when this switch convert from normally closed to normally open, all the three motors will be stopped because there is only one track for passing the current. When this track will be open, all three motors will be off. Let's observe the hardware simulation. In the first step, when switch 1 is activated, all three motors turn on. In the second step, when switch 2 is activated, motor 3 turns off while motor 1 and motor 2 remains on. In the third step, all motor turns off as switch 3 cuts off all the current paths. Hopefully, you got understanding for today's lecture. If you have any question, you can ask to me comment box. Thank you. I love it.